Hello everyone, and welcome to the most must-see YouTube channel in the galaxy. Welcome to... Not Movie Hacks. Not Movie Hacks. Speaking right now is one half hosting team, Matt, and to my left, as always, is Timid Tyler. Timid? Yeah. That's a good one. I like that one. Came up with that, with, with that one in my walk up here. Really? Yes. Like, how do I, how do I yeah. insult Tyler? Yeah. I'll call him Timid. So, today we're doing something different, you know, or we're calling that Movie Hacks, but you know, we haven't done too many movie reviews. <laughs> Of late. Not that anyone watched has <laughs> been watching them. No, no, no. But that's okay. No, no, no. Today okay. we'll be talking about my both my favorite and least favorite thing ever. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Particularly, if you looked at the title of this video, which we have not named yet, it'll be discussion of what we think, or what, more importantly, <laughs> what, what Matt, I will think. What Matt thinks. This is originally going to be both of us doing the video, but then I kind of took over it. Um, uh, I just, he did not show me any of the notes. I yeah. just got a look of them. It's about 13 straight pages yes. of notes. Also, this is not our part two of season seven review. Nope. I don't think that'll ever come out. No, nope. <laughs> nope. it will never come out uh, until we rewatch it. So, no. Matt, this is basically going to be eighty percent, ninety percent you talking. So, I will so my original away. plan. So, I'm a I'm a huge fan of the books, and I've kind of drifted away from like my love of the show after season five. And I originally wanted to do season eight in like the most schlockiest like game of like television fan version of what they want season eight to be of, like, their interpretation of what they want to be and not, like, a George R. R. Martin Pierce interpretation. So I started off that way, but then... Well, it's unprofessional. Um, I started off that way. Um, but... I won't cut it. <laughs> you couldn't if you wanted to. Yeah, oh. All right, just keep going. Um, so it came, it's kind of ended up writing itself, and I don't really know how it ended, how it ended up turning out. So we're about to, we're about to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and so... Where else to start? But with... we should should we start with a little bit of backstory? I'm reading the books. Yes, I've seen the show through once. Yeah, you've read the books twice, and I've you... seen the show through countless times. Okay, so especially there's... the first four seasons. So there is a clear. I don't know as much as you. Yeah, you know a lot. So we just just get that out of the way. I like the show. Like I like about half of season six. I like everything about half of season six. I don't like season seven in the slightest. I don't think it's good. Uh, a few episodes are okay, but overall... What about the dragon? With the dragon, uh, Daenerys, the da she, her dragon died, and then her she dress just... dress is so beautiful, she, season she, 7, episode 6. It was just a great coat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this is Matt's video, it so... It like a rug. It was just something it was really stupid. Old rug. It was just someone with those beautiful... Yeah, and again, this isn't like, if you're if you're a book peer, so this, this season 8 thing won't, like... Like, I'm not trying to make it so, like, it would fit no, the, no, no. the books. I'm just making it as, like, this thing that I decided to do. All right, well, let's start with the first episode for season eight, which I'm going to call The Long Night. Oh, you have episode time. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the I want to begin night. with, like, it's going to be, like, this tracking shot. It's kind of like a, like... like You're going to have tracking shots? Yeah, tracking oh. shots. Um, it's going to be like kind of like um, Battle of the Bastards, like, with Miguel Sopnik. Nope, you're already over budget. <laughs> yeah, over budget already. <laughs> um, so it's going to be, like, Jon Snow, and then there's going to be, like, refugees coming into Winterfell. And they're like, Ugh! and, like, like, cold winds everywhere, and it's like... And Jon Snow's like... Got the food, close the kids. He's like yelling and everything. And then Master Maester Ebros is behind him. He's like, he's got, he's got like he's got his board. He's like, oh, he's got papers. You know, what the papers are. But he's he's shuffling them around. He's he's being he's being an intelligent Maester. And and then it's following them. And then it cuts to Sansa, and she's like she's like helping children with like, oh, have this. It's warm. I'm nice. And things like that. And Brienne's by her side, and it's like it's like yeah, they're Brienne's still in Winterfell. Is she? I thought I thought she was at King's Landing last time. Sorry, we have no idea where she is. But I thought they're all going back. So and so they're all Winterfell. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, it's a journey that took a few months. Yeah. And now they they came back in a day. <laughs> to, to, they've already done that. So it's a big deal. They they made farther distances in shorter periods of time in season they have? seven. Um. So basically, the entire courtyard's like filled with these refugees on coats and everything. They're all extras and they're all like it's just chaos. Like there's like no, you can't see like like any space at all on the ground. It's like it's awful. It's like dragons flying around. There's snow. It's like it's winter. It's winter. It's winter fell. Winter's here. Even though it's been here for like these past like, few seasons, but this officially is going to be like crap. And it's gonna be great. Um. So and then cuts to scene where uh, John Daenerys Maester Ebros. Da, um, Jorah, Davos, Sansa, Tyrion, Brienne, the whole the whole gang are all are all in like the main hall. Where talking. half of them should be dead if following Game of Thrones logic, where they yeah. kill off people. Yeah. yeah, and then um, so Maester Ebros is like, oh, we keep accepting these refugees in at the rate that we are. Like we're gonna run out of food in like a year, and it's gonna be bad. And then um, he also says like we haven't heard any ravens from from the Wall or from Queen's Crown or from Last Hearth or Carhold. Oh yeah, by the way, um, Dormund and uh, Baragondarian died. Do they really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
didn't have to do it. <laughs> they just they die. Yeah, they just, perfect. They just die when the wall came down. So like, okay, oh. there's no food. We haven't heard anything from anywhere north of Winterfell, basically. Any of the castles north of Winterfell. It's not looking good. Um, John says that like this influx of refugees will only be momentarily until we can defeat the Night King. Once the Night King is defeated, everyone can go back to their homes. Everything will be fine. We just have to defeat the Night King, and it seems like they'll be on and they'll be coming onto them like momentarily, basically. Um, so Sansa brings up the fact that um, they've heard nothing from Cersei because back in Episode Seven, Cersei swore um, her um, her men to mm -hmm. to Winterfell, but you know, secretly she's not going to follow through with it. Only Jaime knows about this. Keep in mind. Um, and then they run him from Cersei, and she starts questioning their support, um, which Jon Daenerys have no reply to. Keep in mind, Sansa at this point is kind of struggling to find her position in life because Has her, been trying to her, older half, her older half-brother is Lord of Winterfell now. Her brother... Her well, uncle, not half-brother, her cousin. Yeah, but she thinks it's half-brother. Yeah, well, the show's yeah. stupid, so... Um, <laughs> They're gonna start. They're gonna start. Well, they're it's gonna, not even her half brother. They're, they're gonna start calling her Aegon. They start gonna call her Aegon Snow with, Aegon. with no like. <laughs> hey Aegon. Hey, Aegon. <laughs> and it was like oh, Aegon. God. Yeah. Awful. Um. So. Fucking okay. So and then it's like, oh Bran is like God basically. <laughs> Arya is a faceless man. She's like, where's my role? She's like, I don't know what to do with my life now. Um. So keeping that in mind. She's going around killing people who, who aren't villains <laughs> yeah. with interesting backstories. Threatening, yeah. <laughs> no, little thing, you're, you're too interesting for the show. <laughs> you hear too much like the old season. Yeah. <laughs> Did I do Ar well, Dave and Dan? <laughs> Good job, Arya. Arya you killed off those plot holes. <laughs> That's gonna, Arya's just going to go around with a list of, yeah. a list of plot holes. Well, Varys, you see, you know, you're a bit too mysterious. <laughs> I can be normal. I can be normal. Look at me. <laughs> I, I, I can make a, I can have a fake penis. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Everyone, everyone's um, yelling fake penises. <laughs> don't worry about it. So the council is dismissed, and uh, John Daenerys walk along the ramparts of Winterfell. Don't you mean bang along the ramparts? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, okay. And it's uh, it's clear that the relationship is going pretty well. They talk about Cersei's uh, potential betrayal and um, what like him and what her and Tyrion discussed in private because we still we don't even really know what they yeah in we, we, people are like oh it could be a big conspiracy but if we have any idea like season six yeah it's not going to be anything yes so um, if it's anything like season six just prepare to be disappointed um, and then they can talk about how oh you know I've been she's like I haven't heard anything from Masandi or Grey One from Dragon Zone that's kind of weird. And then cuts to cuts to Tyrion. He's uh, writing a note in private. You don't know what's going on. He's just in like his, oh. he's in his chamber. And then that's that's the end of it. Um, cuts to Winterfell. I mean, cuts to King's Landing. Um, Cersei is there, and she's not pregnant. And so she was she was just lying the whole time in my in my fan fiction. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> like how this is fan fiction. Yeah. Like officially titled. Is it erotic fan fiction? I thought when you said we haven't heard from Miss Sandy Gray Worm in a while, it was going to cut to a sex scene between them. <laughs> cut to, cut to, uh, cut to, uh, Gray Worm, like, hunched over in the bed, and, like, my son's like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I don't have a penis. <laughs> I have a lot more ghoulish, my penis. They have to have the actress play some Sandy. She, they forgot to take, she forgot to take out her nudity clause, so yeah. they're like, you have to do it. <laughs> She's naked for no reason. <laughs> She's in winter. She's there's, fighting. There's a lot of reshoots too. They went back. They're you know, like taking off. <laughs> They're like doing it again. She's like, but I'm in the snow and behind the wall. Why I'm, I'm feeling that fate of the furious ten. I'm back right here. <laughs> okay. Just keep uh, so cuts to King's Landing. Cersei's out there with. She's not pregnant. Kyburn's out there, and all the retainers are out. Um, the route at the beaches of Blackwater, and they see sails coming towards them, and you soon realize that they're the sails of the Golden Company. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we'll go and come, we'll go and come for me later. Um, that's something that's actually probably going to happen. Yep, their leader, Harry Strickland, who is the name of, same name of the character in, in the books, who you meet in, in Den of Dragons, even though played by Don Johnson. Oh, my God. And, That'd be perfect. <laughs> and um, he's first off the boat when the, when all the Golden Company ships land, and he's followed by Tycho Story, who is uh, the banker, Brother Lucy Banker. And Harry Strickland's character... And my fanfiction is gonna be a lot different than his than him in the show, which you'll find out for any book readers. He's not as much of like kind of like cowardly, kind of mundane person. He's more like he's more kind of like a Euron type, but not exactly. He's a man. He's a manly man. Yeah. Um, 
So they discussed the gold company's payment, um, which they have not received. Cersei promises that they will have it once um, the Northern, lots of Northerners and their White Walkers kill each other off, and then the whole Westeros will be hers, and they'll get their payment. Not to worry. Harry Strickland's like, I hate Targaryens, so the fact that I'm gonna be able to kill dragons and Targaryens is good enough for me right now. But you need to pay me later on. Um, she have a scene with uh, Cersei walking through the streets of Flea Bottom with like the gold with her army of gold company and like all the Flea Bottom are like, oh blood, yeah. oh blood, me, oh yeah, <laughs> wow, okay, um, <laughs> so stupid. Um, so they should have a scene. Um, so this is like Theon's a song. I don't know what to do with the Theon plot line, so it's 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 basically pushed to the side because it's, it's, it's so it's so beyond me now what they're gonna do with him. He had an anime move where he got kicked in the butt. Don't you think that would hurt him? It's just a I think little... if he got like mental scars at least. Yeah. I mean, it should, it should hurt him nonetheless. It's not like he doesn't just feel, women just don't feel pain there. <laughs> well, it's not like, I mean, it's like getting punched in the arm. There's yeah. nothing there, but you still, still get hurt. Feel, yeah, okay. What, that, whatever. Uh, oh, Theon's so discussing so... strategy with, with his captain, so they're on a boat, whatever. <laughs> about we were taking the guy The show's just gonna end in He's just gonna show Theon just dead. And yeah. It's just gonna cut to him. That'll be the last thing. You have no idea how he got there, but he's oh, dead. Yeah. Um, and then the last scene for this episode is um, Ari and Bran are alone. Um, Ari asks Bran to spy on Cersei for her. Um, <laughs> and then, and then it, and, and then it ends with, with Arya like rubbing her Bravosi coin. Oh, like I that. thought it was going to end with they don't know what to do with Bran, so just kill Bran. <laughs> yeah. like, I was like, Damon Dance in the regards. <laughs> <laughs> and then just cuts and you're like, oh, well, yeah. there's that tree god person. Um, so that's the end of episode one. <laughs> now episode two is titled Bitter Steel. <laughs> so stupid. You know what Bitter Steel is? Um, episode begins with Melisandre and her army of Valor warrior priests. <laughs> For the lower warrior priest uh, arriving at Winterfell, they look all weird because they're all in the red robes and everything. John's like, hey, you know, I told you if you come back to Winterfell again, I'm going to fucking murder you. Because they don't know what to do with her, so they murder her. Yes, but then Davos and the North are like, yeah, I don't I don't agree with this either. And then, but like Daenerys is like, oh, wait, he's going to say I was going to be the princess that was promised. You know, you know what? She's, she's cool. She's cool. She's with me. She's with me now. So, and I'm the queen, so it's like, you have to do what I say. They're like, okay. Um, and then, Conflict. Yeah, she brings up the fact that oh, they're they're effective against their their fire and they're effective against the whites. You know, and episode six, season seven, established that you know, just any ordinary blade can cut down on a white. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, no, but, sorry, not even blade. I think some are using a, a shiv. Yeah. Some and I think George stick. is using like a shiv. Some had a stick and was like, <laughs> 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 it just dies in one hit. You're like, oh, this so sucks. Um, scene with uh, Jon Snow and Sam. They should have a scene together, right? Don't you think? Probably not. Um, it probably won't ever happen again. Because, <laughs> you know, Sam's at Winterfell. Um, they're catching up. They're, like, talking about Dragon Glass and everything. It's like, oh, I got Dragon Glass. Like, oh, that's cool. That'll be helpful later on. <laughs> that's um, it. Yeah. That's and uh, it's clear that Sam is, like, is like apprehensive about something. Oh, what's he apprehensive about? Even though John doesn't know, but we know that he knows. Oh, yeah, John's that's right. Sam knows, are. yeah. And, she know, and he also knows that who he's, who he's been boning. <laughs> now it gets pretty weird. Ooh. Um... So Sam and Bran then talk, and they talk about John's birth, the incestuous re- relationship he has with Danny right now. Um, Bran's like, I should probably tell John. Sam's like, you know what? Probably not the best idea right now. It's basically tensions just Sam's, are all... Sam's basically looking things up on a computer. Yeah. Okay. It's like, tensions are a little high. Let's just, let's just not let's just not worry about that right now. And then Bran's like, all right, whatever. Uh, we don't want any more turmoil. Back to Dragonstone. <laughs> People are still at Dragonstone? Yeah, Grey Worm and Sunday are at Dragonstone, I think. I thought they were at... I think, were, I think they were taking over Castle Rock, and then all of a sudden they were at yeah, King's but they're, Landing. Yeah, they're Dragonstone. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's just stupid. They're Dragonstone, um, and they're talking, and um, they're like, "We sent these ravens to Winterfell, and uh, we haven't heard any response. We were trying to warn them about the Golden Company sales that, that go through." And um, they're like, "What the hell? What's up with that?" Um, where was that? <laughs> um, and then like we got no reply. So then we go back to Cersei. Cersei and Harry Strickland are talking. They're talking about the Golden Company's origins. Basically, the Golden Company started with um, after the first Blackfire Rebellion, Bitter Steel, who was still angry about the fact that his um, half brother, Demon Blackfire, lost um, in the Blackfire Rebellion, was basically used his sons as a rallying point to go back and, and wage seven more wars against the Targaryen kings. Um, and basically, if you're and basically, what the Golden Company consists of now are are 
former lords of Westeros that were that were um, kicked out of Westeros by the Targaryens during wars that they maybe took the wrong taken the wrong side on. So basically, any any officer for the most part of the Gold Company, including Harry Strickland, his great great grandfather was like a was like a lord of Westeros who took one of the Blackfyre rebellion sides and lost the war. Obviously, because Blackfyre never won a war, mm-hmm. um, so they're all basically just um, outcasts and okay. things like that. Talk about that. Talk about how every Golden Company leader, including Harry Strickland, has their head poured, has their skull, uh, has molten gold poured on their skull, and then it's mounted as like, oh, you're one of the Golden Company leaders. That's how they're still. Them. Yeah. When they kill them? No, but they're dead by then. It's like it's like a. Once they're dead, they they. Oh, they, they, it's, okay. They, yeah, okay. so it's, it's like a burial ritual. Oh, I thought it was like when they're alive. I'm like when. No, kill no. Them. Okay. So the gifts of gifts gifts to show watch some background on the Golden Company. I felt like I should include that. Okay. Um, yeah. Even though the, it won't, the show won't include. Even though all, even though all the all the show watchers will be on their phones at the scene. Yep. Or or I bet we never see the Golden Company because they don't want to spend the money to yeah. Play a bunch they'll, of people. they'll just wear Targaryen armor like uh, like all of uh, like all of uh, Randall Tarly's men. Oh <laughs> yeah, all yep. the, the of Lannister armor. Yeah. Um, goes back to Winterfell. Um, Arya, Brienne. Podrick and the Hound are all fighting in the yard, having some could be could be dialogue. Podrick is like, oh, Podrick's getting better at fighting, like he's improving. Oh, that, that's all. Oh, that, basically, Podrick is just like a, a just a meme at this point. Yeah, basically. And then everyone stops fighting, but Brienne is still fighting. But everyone's like, everyone stands silent. And then Brienne's like, what's going on? He turns behind him, and guess who's there? Jamie fucking Lannister. Oh my god! And then, and then it's like oh, longing looks. How do you get into the castle past all the guards? <laughs> He comes out of a dark tunnel in the yeah. middle out of the yeah. crypts. <laughs> yeah. Again, again, I didn't put much thought to this. Like the show, what? Like the show writers. You're already putting more effort into yes. this. You spent three and a half hours on this. That's more time yes. to spend the season eight script. <laughs> like I, I want to see, I want to see them on the set of season six. Or like, they're like, I don't have a scene with with the with the wife chasing Arya. Like, wasn't she just like stabbed, stabbed. multiple times? I don't. They don't remember. <laughs> They'll never remember. So that happens. Golden Company. Um. So Golden Company embarks to Dragonstone and the view to uh, take Dragonstone for Cersei. Okay. And you get you got Bronze perspective from it. I think that'd be kind of cool to give Bronze something to do. Yeah. And it's like a montage kind of style, like kind of like the uh, attack on Casterly Castle mm-hmm. in season six, because it's not Casterly Rock, so yeah. it's not building a rock. It's a freaking castle. Um, Piece of shit. Yeah, stupid. Um, Actually, one of the good parts about season seven was that Bronze perspective that we got during the like. Yeah. This is an actual compliment for season seven. It is one of the better parts of it. Was because he's not involved in really he's not a main character, but you kind of see the more human yeah. side of war. I kind of like that. All right, back to your so, back to your shit. So, um, again, if I was writing this from an intelligent perspective, I know that um, like they wouldn't like the Golden Company wouldn't be able to take Dragonstone. There'd be like a siege and take a long time. But since the show, since I only have six episodes to, to do this, and also because, Dragonstone because, isn't looks very uh, penetrable. It's just like it's a walkway up to yeah. a gate. And you can just get in the gate. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously they have the gates closed, but, like, it'd be pretty hard to, to take. But, um, again, six episodes, because they, they don't have enough content to write. To write. Nope. No, nope, it's not like they rushed everything. Um, so they, they take it, it's like a montage perspective, and then you cut to Masande and Grey Wormer and are in, like, the throne room. They're like, it's like, Masande, you gotta leave. That's a great accent. I do like my Grey Wormer impression. Masande! And she's like, she's like, and then they, they fight, and then Masande writes one last letter to Winterfell. It's like, oh, the Golden Company has taken Dragonstone. Sends the Raven right before the, the Golden Company is banging on the door, and they fight, and then Grey Worm gets stabbed, and Masande stabs the guy who stabs Grey Worm. And then Masande dies? And then Masande, and they die together. Oh, that'd be and so it, great. It's, it's sad, and, it's, and it, it plays like that like the, like the Targaryen song, like, mm, like, the, like the violin thing or whatever. That'd actually be kind of good. That yeah. actually, I'd actually kind of like enjoy that, because yeah. characters. Yeah, so, but like having like something to do. Yeah. Hey, giving them something to do, not just, <laughs> you're dead. Um, so yeah, they send a raven. Um, wow, so abrupt. Yeah, and then that's the end of the episode. And episode two. Oh, it ends with two yeah. of our characters, you know, yeah. getting murdered. Yeah, okay. and then with the hope of like, oh, maybe Daenerys will find out what happens with the, with the raven sent. And then episode eight, see, I mean season, ep- season eight, episode three, yep. is called The Maid. Okay. And, um. Can, and I, the, can I, wait, what, The Maid? <sighs> can we just go Go for is it. it. Is Arya gonna... Is it involving Arya? No. Damn it. Okay. okay. And then she's gonna disguise the maid and kill John no. or something. Um, know. so it begins with, um, a nameless servant sneaking into, um, Maester Ebros's rookery in Winterfell. Um, and he quickly... He's like... <laughs> reads a note quickly. He goes... <laughs> dancing in his cloak. Mm-hmm. Things like that. So, uh, then, right back to episode one, basically. Same thing. 
Yeah. Okay. No, but like it's not outside. It's like it's like he's like in like a he's like he's like searching. He's like searching. Oh, he's okay. Like, okay. Oh. But it's not my servant. It's, 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 it's like a servant. Can you make those sound effects too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's not very quiet. He's just screaming. <laughs> 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 As if Walton. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, but he he opens it. He steps, shoves it in his in his uh, cloak, and he he he, he slowly and he leaves. And he shuts the rockery door behind him, and then um, cuts to Tyrion. He's um, reading a book in his chamber. The servant enters the room, and um, they have sex. <laughs> yeah, and um, hands Tyrion the note. Tyrion reads it and quickly throws it into the fire. And, um... He's screaming too all day. <laughs> yeah. I'm throwing the snow in the fire! <laughs> so the servant brashly reminds Tyrion, he's like, you're not paying me enough to do this shit. And Tyrion's like, think about it, once this war is over, the queen, being vague, but using, you know, oh, the queen, Tyrion's still vague. the queen will reward you graciously for your work. And he's like, okay. Stomps off, upset. Oh. And then um, another servant comes into Tyrion's room. Wait, did the the servant stop off or Tyrion? Because if we wouldn't be the, 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 the servant stops off. Okay, so let's yeah. see. Tyrion doesn't stop off; he waddles off. Yeah, no, no, because Tyrion bet he's like he's like he's like just remember, just remember, you'll it, it'll all be worth it in the long run once once okay. once the, once you once you hear from the queen. Um, so um, God, it's so gonna come true, isn't it? What the the whole vagueness of Tyrion's gonna be all season because they want to build yeah. some suspense. And then uh, so another servant barges in, requesting Tyrion's presence at the Great Hall of Winterfell immediately. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, and Tyrion's like, oh, what the hell is going on? Um, Tyrion obeys and finds Jaime in the Great Hall of Winterfell. What? Yeah, they just talked last season, so it's not that awesome, but, you know. Nope, and... He's like, he's like, oh, why is Jaime here? It's like, because it's like, oh, what's he thinking? Because Cersei wouldn't put out anymore. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Jaime confirms that Cersei has betrayed their previous um, agreement and that um, no help is coming to Winterfell. And they're uh, like, oh, shit. And then Tyrion's like, what? No! I didn't know! I had no idea! I want Peter Dink to act um, like that, too. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone's just like, I know, right? Yeah. He's, oh! Yeah, like, what a good actor! <laughs> and Mila Clark thinks that. Oh. Um, and then there's just, just, then they suggest that, um, uh, wait, there's some je- some, some suggestions of what to do next. Um, the general consensus is that they stay in Winterfell, defend against the White Walkers, and deal with Cersei after. Okay. That's, that's what they're like, that's what we're gonna do. It's like, it's not um, worth it. First, and, um, so yeah, and then, um, keep in mind, so then, it, so then by now it's become pretty clear that, Sir, that, that Tyrion is, um, a mole for, for Cersei, and what? He, he keeps, he keeps it kind of closed that, like, they, they don't know about the Golden Company yet, so they still, so everyone still thinks that Cersei has a really weak army they can just deal with her after, yeah. not knowing that they have the Golden Company, not, so also not knowing that they've already taken back Dragonstone. Okay. So things like that's going on, um. Danny talks to Jon Snow, and, uh... Danny? Dan- Daenerys. Daenerys, to try yeah. to actually build a relationship. Yeah, I have them talking a few times. Worries about Grey Worm and Sunday, and their uh, lack of contact. Um, but Jon's like... <laughs> <laughs> There's a bed right there. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I, I was a ghost for, like, two years. <laughs> I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> ghost is at the wall! The <laughs> wall came down! What?! <laughs> Oh, um, like, what the hell are they doing with ghosts? I don't know. Ghost wasn't in this either, so don't get your hopes up. Damn it. Um, so Brienne and Jamie are um, out of the rampart, so they're discussing the relationship. Um, they're about to reveal their true feelings. It's like, oh, it's like building, the score is building. They're like, oh, Jamie, I've always wanted to tell you this, but then, but then all of a sudden, uh, thick white fog like just comes out of nowhere, and like cold wind. <sighs> You're like, oh, it's cold. Um... So it's it's and then and like Do they the hear north a dragon roar too. No, they hear no rah! that's 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 even that's too, that's too uh, soon. Yeah, too soon. Okay, because um, it's gonna come into play. Um, and then they're like, oh, they can't, I can't see anything. It's 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 it's, it's gray everywhere. So they rush to the courtyard, and John is like forming lines, like everyone get in the line. <laughs> no, yeah, it's everything like <laughs> that. And then the, um, the Northmen, um, including as Northmen, including um, Melisandre's warrior priests. Um, are heading out of the gates to uh, confront the incoming White Walker army. 
um, John, Daenerys, Davos, and Jorah have a private meeting. Um, John's like, Davos, I want you to take all the all the women, children, elderly, and infirm out of Winterfell. Take them to Mount Kaelin. Talk about Mount Mo- Kaelin later, for anyone who doesn't know. Um, take them to Mount Kaelin right now. Um, Mount Kaelin is what Rob wanted to get through. Yeah, Mount is- Kaelin is the key to the north. Like, you cannot pass... It, it's that, very difficult to, to and get the phrase control it, right? The ironborn control it. The iron well, they did. I, I, I'm talking about from your. So no. Um, this in, is in the a, show right now. The phrase I think control it, but I but don't. All phrases are all dead. Yeah. Okay. So it's hard, but but it basically because like in season two when the ironborn were trying to take when they're trying to take the north. They did. They, they needed to take Mokalen <laughs> so to block Rob's army from, from ever Because that was also that's a big thing in the books with Rob is. Mo Kalen, Mo Kalen. Yes. We're all like Mo Kalen. We yes. need to get that. Okay. Because that was blocking Rob's armies off from each other. I know that now. Yeah, good job. Um, so it tells Badavas, like, get, go to Mo Kalen with everyone, blah, blah, blah. Um, as John's about to head out with his men, Danny pulls him to the side and begs him not to go. He's like, John. He's like, John. <laughs> oh, yeah. Please oh. don't go. <laughs> John. <laughs> John. Hey, go, John. Uh. I won't go <laughs> to Neris. <laughs> <laughs> I love I you. Love you. <laughs> he, 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 you see him reading like this on his hand. Yeah. He has his hand up. He's texting Rose Leslie. <laughs> He's like, "Baby, this show sucks." <laughs> yeah. um, oh god! So everything's gonna be okay. I literally thought John Kit Harrington <laughs> died. So John's like, "Everything's gonna be okay as long as your two dragons are out there fighting with me. Everything will be fine." <laughs> and then Jorah's like, "Don't can I see." I'll protect Jon Snow, don't you worry. Jorah? <laughs> yeah. And Jorah's like, Jorah's like, thank you, my friend. <laughs> she pats him on the back. Fist bumps him. He's <laughs> like, bro. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Um, but, She's a bad actress. Um, so, Sansa's about to ride out with them, and Jon's like, uh, 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 you're going there, with Davos. There must always be a Stark in Winterfell. Basically, that's what I wrote, basically. Oh, wow. I was like, I was like, if something happens to me, there needs to be a rallying point for the North. You need to be alive. Like, on, logically, you need to be alive. Do not go up there. John leaves Sansa the only person in Winterfell. The genuine only person. Yeah. So the White Walkers come. He's like, I don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> He's like, Winterfell's mine. <laughs> As the White Walkers surround him. <laughs> Did you see the he brand in a wheelchair, too? Yeah. He's like, I don't care about you guys. So the first line is, uh, Sansa, Bran, and Arya. <laughs> Come out their camps. <laughs> he pushes Bran out of the gate. <laughs> He's like, yo, get him. <laughs> and Bran's like, oh. Bran's like, I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> That's so stupid. What's gonna happen? That's so stupid. Um... <laughs> So yeah, so when so uh, Sansa like so the winter, Sansa's the like Sansa are agrees even though she's obviously doesn't want to do it. Um, he tells her that um, Ar- she's like get Arya and Bran too because they need they need to not be here as well. Um, so you see here that that um, John's obviously very trepidatious about using all of his all of his um, assets. But it comes into play later. He's like, I don't want to use Bran. I don't want to risk any of the lives of my of my uh, relatives. <laughs> I just see where they're open the gates and John's pushing Bran up. Close the gates. I don't want any. I don't want any threats. <laughs> Bran's, Bran's like. Bran, this is far much. Bran's like. Hi, John. It's weird that you want to meet with me at the ramparts <laughs> this late at night. John's like, yeah. <laughs> he kicks it, but like he's like he's gonna kick it strong at him. So Brand just goes, please go over, and John just stares at him awkwardly. He's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm sorry. Keep going. <laughs> all right, so um, so yeah, tell Sansa. <laughs> It's like, all you guys need to get out of here because I don't want to risk you. It's like, we can fight. It's like, no, you need to be out of here. I want to risk your lives. Um, that begins with the front lines of white. With the front line of whites, they charge the army. But, like, there's, like, a trap. They set, like, a ditch. Like, all these, like, all this very, like, they dig, is it fracking or something? They yeah. just dig the earth really they deep. They dig a hole and they put one of the dragons in the hole yeah. to eat as they come down. <laughs> so, they all, they, so this whole, like, front line of whites just like, fall into this pit. And then, like, Melisandre's war priest, like, light them on fire or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it's cool. Um, Probably actually would be cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's cool. And then like the battle like gets intense and bloody, and it looks like the heroes are gonna win because they're holding up the front lines. And Daenerys, are dra- Daenerys and her dragons are like are like, <laughs> wow. Yeah, everywhere. And um, and this all this changes though. Um, 
Wait. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah, everything goes well until the Night King shows up with his dragon. And, start, and like, this, like, blows this huge line into, like, like, um, into, like, the Northmen, sends them into a rout. And then Bronze Jan Royce and Galbert Glover die during this, because I don't do with them. Bronze Jan Royce? Bronze Jan Royce, you know, you know, the Bale guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the, no one knows about those characters anymore. Yeah. They're not Littlefinger. <laughs> um, so they all happen, they all die, and Daenerys is, like, sees her, sees her child fighting, and is, like, is, like, and oh, she's she's, she's she's like he's like he's like freaked out. Like, well, for, I mean, pretend like you can you understand that she's freaked out. Pretend you can pretend Amelia uh, Clark is a great, a good actress. Yeah. And so then, she's freaked out. And then uh, she's like she immediately pulls her dragons out. Like they 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 go south to Moat Kale, and she's like I can't deal with this. I can't look at my my undead child. I can't risk the lives of my other two children. Mm-hmm. Can't do it. Um, so the surviving men retreat into Winterfell, and they try to gather. Um, the which por- which dragon was killed? Was it? I think it was a Viserion. Viserion. Yeah, okay. I think so. Because um, it's not Drogon and the only one that, that the only one the show people care about is Drogon. What, what's it? Drogon, Viserion, and Rhaegal. Rhaegal, stupid name. Shut up. Um, it's beautiful. Because <laughs> um, it's, it's Rhaegal. I got go to um, it. Um, so they they go and so they, they get the horses to go to ride south of Mokalen. John goes upstairs to like get some dragon glass because it's up there conveniently for the plot for plot purposes. Mm-hmm. And a White Walker comes out and they fight. And and like, dun, 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 dun. It's dubstep music too, because now we're twenty eight, twenty yeah, twenty yeah. to nineteen when it comes yeah. out. So it's <laughs> wah, 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 <laughs> wah, wah, and then, then so basically, John gets beaten up by the White Walker. He's about to, he's about to White Walker's about to kill him, and then oh, oh, and then once all the all the shatter, all the glass shatters, the the ice crystal shatters. Who is it? Up. It's Arya. Whoa. Yeah, and, then one comes, and then one comes from behind her, cuts yeah. her in half, and then we're done with her. We'll see what happens to Arya. Um, and uh, and then they have they, they they look at each other, they nod, and they they go and grab the dragon glass, and they head south. They 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 leave. Jamie is one of the last people to leave Winterfell, but he notices that Brent, that Brienne, and Podrick aren't leaving. And uh. um, he says um, she won't go. Though she'll die to protect the others, and Pod's like, I'm not going anywhere either, but no one cares about fucking Pod. Um, <laughs> Poor actor plays Pod. You see, he's actually a good actor. He's a good actor. I love Pod, too. Um, and then Jamie plays with her, but Brienne's like, smiles and hands her Oathkeeper. Hands him Oathkeeper. Oh, and, and then they make that, out, and then they have sex yeah, with Yeah, saying that um, she swore an oath to keep Sansa safe, and now that passing on the sword means that you take the oath now. Mm-hmm. And she said, I swore an oath for you to go to King's Landing, for you to make it to King's Landing. So it's like, he's like, he's like I understand. So like, I didn't write this up pretty well, but it's supposed to be double meaning. It's like, it's like, I need you to go to King's Landing and, like, take care. It's like, it's implied, it's like, I want you to kill Cersei. Oh. Uh, because Cersei betrayed them. Yeah. So it's like, I, it's like, I was sworn oath for you to get to King's Landing. It's like, I can understand. I need to take, I need to handle Cersei. She was my responsibility. And mm-hmm. I, I acted up. So there's, like, two meanings. And it's like, oh, Brienne dies with a purpose. And then gives Jamie something to do. And then, so. <laughs> it gives, the, I like how you're, a lot of your stories just giving someone something yeah. to do. <laughs> just go do that or something. And, um. So Jamie takes a sword and they kiss and it's like oh, it's uh, like oh uh, and then the episode ends with a faraway shot of Brienne and Pod fighting like an overwhelming um, army of White Walkers and Whites as Winterfell is burned to the ground. So they both die by yeah by the ice dragon. It's playing like that Stark theme song they play like every five seconds. The oh. like, like wait hey, is it dun, uh, no no that's uh, Rings of Castamere. No, it's like how's it go? It's like every time there's like a shot of Winterfell. Going to Winterfell and they play that one like song. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I think okay. it's the same song they play with uh with like the Jon Snow reveal. Oh yeah, yeah, that right. song. Playing that, it's it's super sad. Um, trust me. Um, Tr- trust me. So that's why it's called the Maid because the Maid of Tarth. Oh, uh, so Brienne is dead. Yeah. And so is her, her servant so Pod. Her, so is her, her fucking. Wife. Are we gonna see? Are we gonna see a resurrected Pod? In no, no, no. Okay. So season eight, episode four, called "The War for the Dawn." Wouldn't they think that'd be episode six? Did you did you, did you see the whole episode, the whole season yet? No, no. Because we're only in episode five, four. Oh my god! Okay, it's gonna go. F- <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go for forty minutes. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do the cliff notes. <laughs> no, take your time. It's okay. okay um, episode begins with uh, John, Arya, and the other survivors riding with Timot Kalen. So as I said earlier, Timot Kalen is like is like the stronghold to the north. Can't get through it. Can't get by it without um, anyone knowing. Without mm-hmm. um, having the having like the 
without being given without being given the authority from whoever holds Mokalen. And because all around it's like it's like swampy kind of areas, um, and so um, out of nowhere from the, like the swampy terrain, like all these hooded figures pop out. They all they all have like bows and arrows, and like they're like, what's going on? Is like the, John Trotz or is sword. it the Brotherhood without banners? No. Are they alive? No. Oh, they're all and dead. Okay. One of the hooded figures walks up to them, r- takes off his hood, and um, reveals himself to be Howland Reed. They're all Kranig men. The Kranig what? men have taken Mount Kalen. What? The place gone. The Ironborn Con too. The Kranigmen stand tall. Who, um, who's 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 the actor that plays Howland Reed? It is Viggo Mortensen. <laughs> okay, perfect. I love it. And um, where was I? Um, he's like, I am, I am a, g- I mean, yeah. Howland. <laughs> he says that um, Sansa and Bran have arrived safely. Um, John asks about Daenerys, and Daenerys, and he Howland says that um, she's locked herself away. Wait, what's Can't. the name of fucking Viggo Mortensen's character in Lord of the Rings? Aragorn? Aragorn. I said Aegon, and that confused me. Oh, I thought you were making a joke about Jon Snow. That's why I didn't say anything. Oh, yeah. I was trying to make a joke because he's in the wrong friend. Okay, let's keep going. But I feel like because, like, Ned Stark was played by Sean Bean. You gotta get Viggo like, Mortensen. Yeah, That'd be kind of awesome. Mortensen. That'd be a good reveal. Yeah. Um, so John confronts Daenerys furious, but can see it's, uh, but can see it's kind of a bit when... Um, when Daenerys when when uh, Daenerys explains like oh it was horrible to see a dead child fighting it using it being used as a weapon against her when it couldn't allow the same thing to happen to Jorah and Rhaegal, um, Arya Bran Sansa uh, find each other. Bran sees that the Night's King will be um, will be on them momentarily. They're about to attack again. Um, brings this up to the, brings this up at a council and Daenerys declares that this is our last stand. While Caelan is the last stand. Um, no matter what happens, we are fighting here. We will fight them in their beds. An iron curtain is descended upon. Dude, they, he's, forget it. He's going to give a, an epic speech. Yeah, once some okay. Churchill style. That'd be awesome. Um, scene with Jon Snow and Halloween Reed, because i got to get to Halloween some scenes. I'm discussing about Caelan's defenses, as things I already mentioned earlier. The war against the Ironborn, which happened in season four. Talk about that. Um, think about Robert's, Robert's Rebellion. Maybe give, uh... Give John some stories about him and Ned. You well, know, well, they're actually setting up for their spinoff series. Yeah. Also, but you know what's gonna happen, right? He's what? gonna go. You know, I have something to tell you about your father during the Tower of Joy, and then someone's gonna run in and no. go, "Hey!" No, I bring that up. I bring that up. You bring that up, okay? Yeah. Um, so they talk about like Stark. That like they talk about how like how crazy like the Stark Targaryen Targaryen dynamic has been. Like they've been fighting for each other, fighting against each other, fighting with each other, all like the matter of like is that really true? Thirty years, yeah. Oh, okay. So um, things like that. They'll look, and then he'll he gives the stories about his old pops back in the day. Oh. Who he thinks this is pops? I should say. Who he thinks this yeah. is pops? Yeah. Um, so you have a scene with Mira and Bran, and Bran's like, "Yeah, I was a jerk." That's it. <laughs> That's it. He's like, I'm sorry. I like Mira, so I kind of wanted to give her a scene. Give her at least a good conclusion. And Mira's guess like, who's back? Who? Theon. Oh <laughs> my god! He arrives at the Pike, he, and then uh, only to find out that Euron never went to the Pike. He went to Essos to get the Golden Company with oh, Yara. Oh whoa! And then Theon's like, Oh shit! The Golden Company. Cersei has the Golden Company. I got to tell my friends. So then that's... And then, then he, then he, he goes, sails on the ship, sail, sinks, and he drowns. Yeah, cracking. Yeah. No. Okay, um, damn it. No, so then you, you see him, he's like, I gotta go find uh, Daenerys and tell her about this. Giving him something to do. Very much so. Um, back to Mo Kalen. Everyone prepares for war. Jamie tells Sansa about Brienne and his new oath of protector. Um, Sansa is saddened by the fact that Brienne's dead and is like, kind of like, I don't really trust this Jamie Lannister guy. It's like, that's kind of weird. So that is, and then Jamie's like, oh, well, I kind of messed that one up. Um, S- Sansa's going to marry both the Lannister uh, siblings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, John and Daenerys um, talk in their chambers. Daenerys promises um, to that she won't hold back the time her, dragon, her dragons will be used because she knows that she knows now that like they're not used now they're gonna die one way or another okay um so they might as well go up fighting um they also discuss the absence of Tyrion because Tyrion never arrived in Mokalen oh yeah. wait where were he never what about what where was he at Winterfell he was gone way before oh yeah um so the battle for the dawn is what I've been waiting for oh man forever episode four out of six the biggest battle ever um, so, just keep going. Although there, are, so although there are ground soldiers in the battle, um, a lot of the fighting is done from like from like the towers of Mokalen because um, they're using strategy. Um, no, they won't. Yeah. So Bran um, uses his warging, and there's, there's like ravens like flying like. <laughs> oh, is it think think the I think the uh. What? Do you think like the volume got messed up? This no, time? I think okay, it'll be okay. I think okay. it's okay. I hope so because this is killing me. We're not cutting any of this. This is so natural and so fun. I'm starving. You are? I'm literally starving. Um, 
So you're shaking. <laughs> okay, we're not cutting any of this. Okay, um, so the pow- um, so so like yeah, like 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 murder of crows or <laughs> like bothering the whites. <laughs> It's cool. Hey, it's cool. Okay. Because like now John is utilizing the strength of like all of her all of her siblings mm-hmm. and everything. Blah blah blah. Like oh, teamwork. Teamwork. Yeah, Avengers. Like, yeah, like every Avengers movie. Um. So the Kranig men, because like they're all used to like the swampy air. They're like they're like they're like using guerrilla warfare set like like air like flame airs like ah, 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 <laughs> like things like that like kill- Wow, you should be a white. Killing, you should play yeah, all kill- the whites. Yeah. <laughs> killing uh killing whites and like dragon glass arrows now and mm-hmm. like killing some white walkers like. <laughs> It's, it's super epic. It's like, like Miss Alessandra and her uh, warrior priest are like, fire your grenade. <laughs> it's, it's, it's cool. And then and then Jon Snow is like, that's like, ah. And then like uh, the hound's like, bloody fuck. And he's like swearing and everything. Oh, it's man. It's cool. And Daenerys is like, the goddess. <laughs> and Tormund's back even though I thought he died. No, Tormund, Tormund's still dead. Damn it. How about Undead Tormund fights Jon Snow in a boss battle? You did? No, how about we do that? Oh, okay, okay. That'd be cool. So it, Jon sees Tormund, he's like, my friend, and so then... He's like, I'm gonna cut off your P.E.K.K.A. <laughs> the White's talk! Yeah. <laughs> Basically, he's special, because he was kissed by fire. Um, so they're in the thick of the battle, Night's King um, tries to use his dragon to, mo- to melt down Moat Kaelin, but... Boy, Daenerys... <laughs> Her fire blocks the yeah. fire. Ah, and then so like that, so like they use double double dragon t- tag team to uh, to beat the bad dragon. And then the white the night king throw off, throwing off his whole throwing off his dragon, and he gets off. And he's, oh, he's mad. <sighs> he's a villain. Ah, a giant sword thing that he has. <laughs> and then and then he <laughs> then he looks down and there's Jon Snow with long claw. <laughs> And then, um... You're so stupid. And then, uh... Oh, yeah, Jamie saves Sansa from White Walker. I guess that's cool. <laughs> that <laughs> happened. Yeah, so, like, so then Sansa's like, Oh, you are afraid after all. You saved my life. Whatever. So then... And... And then... then we sound like retards. Yeah, and then... <laughs> Jon Snow kills the White... The Night's King. And then like, he's like... And he looks out. And he sees he sees his army because because it's telepath, telepaths and it's lazy. They so like drop. they all they all drop. And he's like, oh well, the uh, the the villain ends at, dies after this episode for you. Well, Cersei. They still deal with Cersei. Cersei's been so Cersei's the real villain of Game of Thrones. Yeah, when you but, think about it. Yeah, but it's just it's Cersei's the one you more people are invested in. Like no one really cares about the White Walkers. Yeah, everyone. Everyone does. just goes. It's blood. Yeah. <laughs> like Cersei actually like has like the, has like has like the I will bet money the relevance that. This conflict is not solved in four episodes. Well, what? Okay, right here, right now, five dollars. A five dollar. No, because I, I think you're right. Okay. <laughs> the show. So, runs- so Night King's dying, and as he sees it, all all the whites fall, and then episode's over. Yeah, episode four is done. Two more episodes to go. They tricked you. There's no more episodes of yeah, Game of Thrones. Two more episodes to go. They ran my, out of my, my reason for doing the White Walker thing early is because I don't know. I just feel like the the Cersei story has been growing. Every it's season. like the penalty. It's like the climax. It, feels it is like, like it's just, it's. I mean, I subconsciously everyone cares more about the Cer- everyone cares more about the Cersei than the Night's King. Yeah, I can the Night's King that. is just a visual like a visual stimulus. And while because one of the whole things of Daenerys' story is destroying the wheel. Yeah. And you can't actually do that unless you kill the queen. Yeah. So yeah, I can understand that. That's actually a good point. I yeah. just don't think they're gonna. It do also that. makes sense ge- geologically. Like I couldn't like I couldn't have like. For some reason, because Cer- logically Cersei would not fight at all. Like Cersei would not no. would not go north to fight. No. And then have like a three way battle. That'd be stupid. And so like I, cu- I couldn't I couldn't let that happen. Also, um, you can't have the conflict with the White Walkers go too far south. That you yeah, you can't yeah. you have to keep it in the so, north. So I mean so I mean I made the sacrifice. I was like I still feel like I did a pretty good job with it. Like once once we get all the way through with this, um, I mean wanna, it makes sense. Do you want to finish the last two episodes? Here, or yes, I want to finish. Okay, <laughs> I'm so close to finishing. Um, so season eight, episode five is called "The Night of the Laughing Tree." Oh. Uh, so the episode begins with John Company surveying the damage around the battlefield. Um, he finds Melisandre and all her warrior priests dead in the front lines. They fought bravely, but they oh, unfortunately they fell um, because of the thousands of bodies that are there, all the whites and everything. Um, Daenerys' dragons have to burn all the bodies. 
um, with fuck with dragon fire. Mm-hmm. Um, um, so it's like all ashes on the field and everything, and there's snow and stuff, whatever. Um, Sansa and Jamie confront John, saying there um, there's no sign of Tyrion at all, and now Arya is gone. What? Arya was Tyrion the whole time. Oh, yeah, Arya is gone now too. Sion arrives at Mo Kalen. He somehow knows that they're up, they're up, they're up, they're at Mo Kalen. Who cares? Um, he's like he's like Cersei and Euron. They swerved us. They um, they swerved us. Yeah, <laughs> he's, they swerved us, fam. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, uh, well, uh, Cer- Cersei and Euron oh, yeah. swerved us. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And oh. they have the Golden Company now, and they're super powerful and they're awesome. Um, Daenerys questions um, how they've gotten um, how they got to Dragonstone without. Or Grey Worm, Grey Worm, Masande knowing because they have to go, they have to like pass that way. So they ask. Turns out Bran's been warging the ravens that come. Yeah, <laughs> by accident he warns. He's like, oh shit. No, but it, it's been it's been Tyrion. <laughs> oh, dun, dun, dun. you didn't get because because the, the the surge were taking the notes. Oh. So when he, when he, so that note that he read, they threw in the fire. That was a note saying that 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 Grey Worm had sent saying Masande had sent saying that. Uh, oh. That gold company was taken. What had taken Dragonstone? I guess the Game of Thrones is too smart for me. It's <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Um, so Tyrion arrives at King's Landing and is met up with Cersei, Euron, and Harry Strickland, who was a gold company leader. For anyone who doesn't remember, um, Cersei uh, shows Tyrion the dead bodies of Alary and Tyene, saying, "This is what we do." Saying, promising, promising that they died slowly because remember Tyrion kind of hates them too for killing uh, uh, Marcella. Mm-hmm. Um, so Tyrion's like, "Oh, I kind of, I'm kind of feeling this now." Um, <laughs> Tyrion tells Cersei that um, he's heard um, he's heard word from um, his mole that the Starks have from the Starks in the circle that they have. Um, Who's his mole? The the the, the, the servant. Oh yeah, it was gonna be a big reveal. No, no, this is the servant. He's like the big reveal uh, that they defeated the Night's King and are now on their way um, south with a large um, Ironborn fleet, which is Theon's fleet. Um, Euron's like, I'll defeat. I'll I'll defeat Theon at the uh, the at uh, Blackwater. Uh, Blackwater part yeah. two. Yeah, this so is part two though. Do Blackwater again? The Blackwater and. Do you think? Okay, seriously, what do you think they're they're gonna do with Tyrion? Is do you, have, do you have any clue? I don't think I don't think he's gonna be a traitor. I don't think he's gonna be a traitor yeah. either. I think they're gonna try to make him out to be a traitor, but really he was on the good side the whole time. Yeah. So Tyrion and Cersei um, have a scene in private where they talk about um, prophecy. Uh, more importantly. Um, Cersei's like nagging at her rock prophecy with um, the Balancar, the little brother will end up killing me. Mm-hmm. Um, she says, I don't, I don't care about prophecy anymore. I, I take power into my own hands, and that's all that matters. Um, back to Mo Kalen, Helen and Bran discuss John's parentage, and Helen advises, like, hey, you know, some secrets are best kept as secrets. Because, uh... you know, Helen obviously knows about this, and then Bran's like, okay, confirmed. I will not say anything about this. Um, and then they can talk about like they can talk about like the night laughing tree and everything like that. Give us some definite evidence about everything. They like talk who about, actually was. Yeah, and all that. I don't really know. And like talk about like Lyanna and, and Brandon Stark and all that, um, just in private. And uh, Sam and John have a scene. Um, Sam is like no longer bitter towards his dad because. Um, what was my oh, love? Sam still hasn't found out that his dad. No, he he, he knows by now, but he like does. whatever. Um, <laughs> whatever. But like like spiritually, he's not. He's like, yeah, if my dad never sent me to the wall, I never would be able to help save the world. Mm-hmm. And I also found a way that I, that I can prove I can, I can prove I'm a hero without being like a manly man. I did it through books. I helped save the world through my education. So mm-hmm. you know, he's he's coming to terms with with his with himself. Okay. So good, you know, full circle, whatever. Um, John swears. Oh, uh, wait. John swears that once Cersei's taken care of, you can have Horn Hill with Gilling and Little Sam. And yeah. it's like, oh, sweet, whatever. Oh, that's cute. And yeah. He can give him um. Heart Eater, I guess. No, Sam already has Heart Eater. Never mind. Yeah, he has a family Yeah, sword. he has Heart, yeah. Um, Is it a Heart Eater? Yeah. Okay. Um, John and Daenerys um, have a scene reflecting on how far they've come and how likely it was that they would ever met. You know, John, they talk, John talks about being way up north. Mm-hmm. Daenerys talks about being way down south and Karth and the wet red waste and the marine and how, like, oh, and how he was Queen of Marine. He was Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. Wow, it's so, it's weird how these things happen. Um, and they fuck. Yeah. Basically, um, and um, Daenerys is like, "Oh, will I be a worthy leader?" And John's like, "You'll be a worthy leader." Well, is John is Kit Harrington British? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Sansa and Jamie have a scene outside of Mo Kalen. Jamie swears 
It's really sweet. It's like at night and there's like little lights and Jamie's like, Jamie's like, my sword is yours, my lady. And Sansa, uh, like he swears to Odin and then Sansa accepts it gratefully, like cheerfully. And it's like, oh, Jamie is the reason to live. God knows he needs it. He really needs uh, it. Huh? Back to King's Landing, Tyrion and Kyburn discuss um, battle tactics against the Starks and Lancers. Kyburn swears that no matter what happens, the Targaryen Queen um, throws at them. She says, oh, Cersei's fire will always burn brighter. Than anything oh, else. And shit. Tyrion's like, oh, that's kind of weird. I don't know why you say that to me. Um, <laughs> He's like, ah, ah. Yeah, Tyrion goes, grows suspicious and um, heads towards the Prime Minister's Guild, which is back to season two, and finds out that all the wildfire storages are gone. <gasps> Where's this wildfire? Where'd the wildfire go? Oh my god. And he oh forgot. My... He's like, oh yeah, it blew up. <laughs> yeah, no, there's more wild, but like, it's like, it's just be like, where's all this wildfire right now? Episode ends. With Arya riding to King's Landing with a sack filled with faceless men faces. Oh! And that's how it's the five ends, the penultimate episode of Game of Thrones. <laughs> Nothing really penultimate happens on this episode. It, it's in conversations. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. Final episode, episode six. Yes. It's called A Dream for Spring. Oh my god, we're almost at an hour. Are we really? Yeah. Oh god, we'll finish this. Oh my god, it's gonna rain. Okay. Um. So, Game of Spring is obviously the name of the last book of Game of Thrones. What we think is going to be the name of what we think will be the last book, at least. Um, J- has George R. Martin confirmed it, or is it just like fantasy? He says he might have to write, like, another book. <laughs> he might have to do eight books? Yeah. You're never going to see that fucking no. eight book. So, episode begins with Stark and, Tar- Stark and Targaryen banners marching south toward down the Riverlands, while Greyjoy ship bent their way down the narrow sea. It's like... Dun, 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 dun. Wait, I'm, I'm doing the Rance of Cast here. Wait. Let's just take the Mad Max yeah. <laughs> Um So, John orders Helen Reed and Davos to stay in River Run to like hold down the Riverlands while they're all because all their friends are dead. And it's chaos. Like you, you know, Helen, you know what you're doing. Davos, you, know, you you know what you're doing. Just just take care of everything. Whatever. <laughs> you guys um, will do some shit, and that's yeah. the end of the. You see those characters. Yeah. Right. John's like, John's like, Stancy, you should stay too, it's safe. And, but he's like, no, I need to see Ari. I need to find Ari again. Um, Sansa and the Hound um, have a scene discussing the absence of Arya and how worried they both are. You know, it's sweet, whatever. Because, uh, um, like, you know, like, the, Hound's the, like, Hound protect, the Hound protected Sansa, like, yeah. in, in the early season, so it's like, you know, they have another scene, whatever. The Hound's like, oh, bloody girl. Nice. She, she gonna get herself killed off. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so stupid. So, that's King's Landing. Um, we follow um, a random servant girl. You don't know who it is, this random servant girl walking around um, Cersei's chamber. And we're still walking around the Red Keep. She gets to Cersei's chamber, and while well, she's like, she's like doing, like, like you know, fixing the bed, and Cersei's behind her, and is like, I've never seen you before. And uh, she asks Cersei where she's from. She's like, I think you're from the Westerlands. And the girl's like, Oh, good eye, Your Grace. She's like, Oh, where are you from? She's like, I'm from, uh,. This place, it's like, oh, where'd you... So, like, you know, like, in season two, when um, Arya's, like, talking to Tywin, she's like, I'm from Maidenpool. Yeah. And Tywin's like, oh, what do you think about this, this, and this? And she's like, uh... She's like, oh, you're not from Maidenpool, really? Arya's like, no, I'm not. I'm from the north. So then, same thing, it's, like, parallels. Ah. Uh. And it's like, and it's like, oh, well, so clearly you're not from the Westlands, and then... Hey, Arya! I'm Arya! And then takes out Needle, and then throws the lunch at Cersei, but then, in the corner... Because from jumps out in front, it's the Undead Mountain. Oh! Uh, the two best warriors in, yeah. <laughs> in the freaking... In Westeros are about to fight. And then they fight. And then Arya stabs the hound through his through the through the face piece, but doesn't die because he's undead. And then... He, Arya gets cut from the waist. Yeah! <laughs> and Arya's Ar- on the guy like... Oh my... <laughs> But like like Bishop from uh, Aliens, but like she's actually gonna die because she's not an android. Oh my God, she dies! Yes. Thank God. Yep, yeah, she is dead. Um, that is the end of her. Uh, <laughs> what a great resolution for the character. Yeah, <laughs> that's she wanted to go. Um, T- so then later on, Tyrion confronts Cersei. She, she he has no idea that Arya is dead, and uh, demands like, "Oh, where, where all this wildfire go?" And Cersei's like, "Oh, I, it's underneath." Um, your it's bed. It's under King's Landing, um, and I'll ignite it if the battles. If the if we're losing the battle, she's like, I'm just like straight up. That's what I'm gonna do. Yep. Just like the Mad King, you know. If, it's, if things aren't going right, I'm gonna fucking lay it up, and everyone's gonna die. But it won't be enough. I have strategically done the math so that it won't be enough to blow up the Red Keep. Just There's no math around in your sheet. Yeah, and then uh, what? There's no math in your sheet. No, I'm saying starts to the math. Oh. But I'll do it so that. It, oh, it I think you're talking about you. It will not blow up the Red Keep. 
And then Terry's like, how could you do this? And, and then Sarah's, wait, wait, am I having a conversation mm-hmm. later or am I having it now? Yep, no, no, this conversation's happening later. Okay. <laughs> Erase that almost word that I said. Um, the Targaryen host um, stand outside the walls of King's Landing along with two dragons. When Daenerys demands Cersei surrender, she responds by catapulting the heads of Arya, Masami, and Grey Worm over That'd like, be cool. the walls of the, of the trebuchet. And then Ari, and then John and Daenerys felt saying a word just no, like it's on now. Like it's, Yeah, it's I, real. Think that, I think that's on. It's yeah. real. Um, um <laughs> uh, 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 So the Golden Company meet the Targaryen forces outside King's Landing. Um, with the help of um, the dragons, the Golden Company is routed pretty quickly. Um, so the battle moves into Flea Bottom and uh, eventually like to like around the Red Keep area. So it's like all throughout King's Landing there's a battle going on. Mm-hmm. Like you follow like you follow like all your heroes fighting and stuff. It's cool. And like the dragon pff, 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 like and, but it's like it's cool because like you haven't seen like a fight like inside like a city. Oh okay. So it's not like an drag- open, it's like an open battlefield. It's just yeah. like it's just like it's like in like like shops and everything. So maybe Daenerys isn't trying to burn down everything. Yeah, so just... there's like tight rows and stuff and like it's like fighting there. So okay. kinda of cool. Um, kind of like remember that brutal montage you got in Marine when like the slave when like the slaves are taking back, kind of like yeah. that, but a lot longer in King's Landing. Okay. Um, except not a montage. Um, so then, the Hound and the Mountain finally meet each other like on a Club Game Ball. Club Game Ball confirmed. The Hound, um, they fight, and the Hound knocks the brother's helmet off, and he's like all undead and everything is gross, and then he's like bloody bloody fuck. He's bloody fuck, brother. Yeah, yeah, because he swears a lot. Um, realizes that his brother is um undead. And he decapitates him. But he does not die. What? Because he's already dead. So he keeps fighting. And the house like, what am I going to do? And he sees a lamp with fire. And he's like, he's like, oh, bloody fuck me. <laughs> and he's like, God, lights him on fire. And the house, the man is like, <laughs> He's and screaming. dies. Yeah. yeah. And then, so the hound overcame his fear of fire. He used fire to finally beat his brother. The thing that, the thing that his brother used to shove his face in when he was a kid. Full circle. That's amazing. Look at that. Yeah. You know what's you know what's sad? What? That's probably gonna happen. If probably that I'm pretty certain of that, that that is if you were to bet many on any of these predictions, it would be yeah. that the hound's gonna beat um, the mountain with fire. So sad, sad sad scene. While Danny is using is using drug on to burn the remaining golden company forests. I mean it's like King's Ending. Harry Strickland, who's all angry, he mounts one of the baristas mm-hmm. that, that Kyber made and aims because he he like um he, he hears, like, John Stoneman knocking at the door. He's like, it's only moments before I'll be dead next. And right before, right as John is, like, so going to grab him. It hits Daenerys it's, right it's, on it's drug on. Oh, damn it. What if it just, it hits Daenerys and you see a dragon and, boom, she goes and, flying. And, and, <laughs> no, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. I wish I did that now. But it's, <laughs> it's, too late, it's too late now. Um... <laughs> When he's just, he, he's like, no, you, she's like, a, it's like a shot where she's right here, and the camera's behind here, yeah. and it's just, yeah, <laughs> the dragon keeps flying. <laughs> and, um, so then, Jon Snow cuts off Kara Strickland's head, and he, and he sees that the dragon falls down, down, and it's like really sad and everything, Aww. trust me. Um, <laughs> trust you. So yeah, Harry Strickland gets his, gets his last, so it's kind of good for Harry Strickland because he hates Targaryens and kind of gets that, kind of gets that little punch in before he dies. Because it's Don Johnson. He's I, awesome. I've confirmed, yeah. Cersei watches the chaos while drinking a glass of wine. And um, from the inside of the castle, she's calm as can be, like, calculating. And knows what's, knows what's up. She turns, and Sir Tyrion's behind her with the crossbow pointed at her belly. He's like, he's like this. Like, with t- like the one that killed Tyrion. Uh... The one that t- killed Tyrion. Um, Tyrion tells her he won't let her kill thousands of innocents. To which Cersei replies, none of them are innocents. These are the same people... That mocked me during my walk of penance. They have no loyalty. They just they just root for the victor. I'm doing. I'm. If you think that these people deserve to live, you're wrong. Because unlike them, I mean, unlike unlike them, I have loyalty to my house, to my to my throne. They have no loyalty. And Tyrion's like, I can't. I can't let you. Matt, do this. you like he like Matt. You got up. You had that memorized. Yeah, I did. That was surprising. that was impressive. Um, I don't. This part memorized though. <laughs> Um, so she, she's, like, she's like, Kyburn, let them all burn. And so, cause, so then, so Kyburn's walking over, Tyrion realizes he can't do anything. Um, Kyburn's walking over with the torch, and there's like this podium outside where the throne room is, mm-hmm. and like, it's like this little like path that goes, it's like on a podium, and he lights it, and it, it's like supposed to be like, and it goes out, yep. past King's Land, out past towards the Red Keep, and then like will ignite like underneath, and, ca- and like the cache is underneath. 
um, King, like like the flea bond and everything. But you don't know that. You just it's just in my logic. Yeah. Um. So because they're not gonna, it's not like the pile of fire is gonna start in the thumb because it'll pull up everything. It's just, it's just, I, I it's got, just like okay. Yeah. It's just yeah like, I got yeah, it. Don't okay. worry. Um. You're very you're over explained. It's okay. So um. So as Kyron's about to do it, suddenly <laughs> he's being warped into. By Brynn! Whoa. And Brynn sets Kyron on fire. <laughs> sets himself on fire, basically. Yeah! <laughs> Kyron <laughs> dies. And he dies. Perfect. And, uh, furious, Cersei goes for the torch herself. Tyrion points the, points the crossbow at her to stop, but he can't do it. He can't pull the trigger. And then when Cersei turns, turns to grab the torch, and then he looks up. And it's like he looks at the sword, and that sword is Oathkeeper. Whoa! It's Jamie! It's our oh, 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 Jamie! It's Jamie! I already forgot. Arya was cut out. I already forgot who she's not. I already forgot she's not. And then, and then Jamie goes, Jamie, has, he has no feelings for, for Cersei anymore. She goes, I guess you weren't pregnant after all. And then. And the baby falls out of the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, this is like months later. It's like, and she, she, she's, not, she's not pregnant at all. Uh, he looks at Jamie. And just, just finds no no emotion at all, and she falls, and she's uh, and they have sex, and she lustfully looks at the Iron Throne, clutching her womb. It's yeah, it's a remix. There's Reigns of Casimir. It's all like it's all drag. She's like she's like, and she dies. Seriously, dead. She dies, looking at the throne, clutching for it, blood everywhere. So it comes to her wounds, and then I. And then Jamie. Oh looks. my gosh, the last page. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> we did. We did it, mom. It's an hour long. Oh my god, it's three forty-five. Oh. <laughs> Jamie tells Tyrion that he must leave Westeros and never come back again. Tyrion says nothing, just walks away defeated. Also, as a side note, you're on. You're on a Theon fight outside the Blackwater, oh. and uh, Theon dies, and Euron dies, but Theon dies saving Yara, so it's. It's cool. Oh, okay. Okay, good um, for Theon. Yeah. So then, he's, like yeah. The he's the best actor in the show. Yeah. Okay. But I can't find... I, I love Theon, too. I just can't find anything to do with him. Um, John finds... Um, John uh, enters the throne room. So it's like it's like parallels. Ned finding Jamie for the Mad King, but it's the same thing. And John just goes, you have to be done. He knows. He knows. Oh. Um, and then John finds Daenerys crushed under Drogon dying. Oh, my God. Really? Kind of like kind of like in the, in the Return of the King, when the king... Gets crushed by the yeah, yep. it's like that. Um, and her last request is, like, I just want to sit on the Iron Throne before I die. So then Jorah carries her. Oh, not John. Jorah. No, Jorah does. Okay. They they have they have more history. And it's <laughs> and she's and then she sits on the Iron Throne. And as she's done, she names John her heir, and it's really sweet and everything. I I just want to see Amelia Clark try to pull this off because it'd be awful. <laughs> and, her body's just <laughs> yeah. Days later, John is conflicted about talking to the Iron. About taking the Iron Throne, but Bran's like, "Oh, actually, you're 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 the heir." Turns out, and Sam's like, "Yeah, I have, I have the papers right here." Uh, like, like, I'm, like, uh, he's like, "Oh, about the annulled marriage with Rhaegar and uh, and uh, Elia Martell and everything." And he's like, "Well, I guess I I he's I put to put it simply, he's like, well, I guess I am the heir. I guess I am Aegon the Sixth. He takes the throne as Aegon the Sixth, um, and is uh, and he says, and no, he, he will uh, he will never take it. He'll be John. Yeah." He's Hal the, he's he's Aegon the Sixth now because uh, he's doing he's doing it for Daenerys. He's not doing it for himself. He's doing it for the realm, and uh, and uh, and then R Bran's like, oh yeah, Hal and Reed can vouch for me too because he actually saw he's, he was at the Tower of Joy, talking about Tower of Joy and everything, blah blah blah. Um, so and then uh, he takes a, he takes a crown with Varys, Davos, Sam, and Lady Mormont as uh, members of her small of his small council. And then at like like the montage like playing like the Game of Thrones theme in the background and it's like it's like Yara returns to the pipe uh, and it's like Sansa returns to Winterfell um, and is helping rebuild it with Jamie at her side. They do get married. No, they don't. He's just he's just oh he's just, just her. Okay. They're not gonna get married. It's like twenty five years between them. Shut up. Uh, da Davos is gets Dragonstone. Okay. Dany um, is like recognized as Queen of Westeros formally as like as, like, legitimate queen, and is buried. It's sweet. Um, I guess Arya can be buried in the Crypts of Winterfell. <laughs> I forgot about Arya. They just forget about yeah, Arya. Yeah, and then, uh, Jorah stays as a king's guard for Jon, and then Tyrion is on a boat, and... Heading to the wall. Head goes to Marine. Oh. And meets up with Dario. That's his story? Yeah. Okay. Oh, maybe he'll go to... I don't know. It, maybe it's just big. He's just, he's just on a boat going to SL, so you don't know where he's gonna go. It's just big. Yeah, and then it ends with, with Jon, like, on his throne. Duh, duh. Duh. 
And then it's gonna be Game of Thrones. Yep. <laughs> and that is season eight, ladies and gentlemen. I am so hungry. I need to do my Italian thing. Like, oh shit! I have to be here while you do that. You you hope. Wait, we're not thinking about this right now. Okay. So okay. Uh, if you guys were watching, listening, that was over an hour uh, long. That was that was that was totally worth it. That was worth it. That was really really good. Yeah. Thank you. All right. If you like what you've seen here, we would like you to check out other content. Please. Not all of it. It's just me rambling about a show that doesn't matter. Um, just watch his wrestling videos. I think that'd make his day. That'd make my day, honestly, because I put a lot of work. I put a lot of work into this too. Um, if you want to see us do more Game of Thrones content, we'd love to. Just recommend anything in the comments, and we will do it. Thank you for listening. <laughs> just you, anything. Thank you for listening. You made this far, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.